let's get to the chase. How was Emmanuel actually found by police? Uh, you are aware that uh, Emmanuel was deported sometimes right. in June 2013. And then uh, September 2013, uh, we arrested him in the country and realized that he had actually sneaked back into the country mm -hmm. with about 225 sachets of heroin. Mm -hmm. And he was charged in court together with his girlfriend in uh, September 2013. And uh, as usual, when you take somebody to court, the person can be given uh, a bond. Right. And uh, he got a bond. Mm -hmm. And that is why we cannot say he was roaming freely. He was out on a court bond, which there's no control. As police, we don't have control whether to issue a bond or mm -hmm. not. What we do, we oppose. If it is given, we have no control over it. And uh, since then, the case has been dragging up to now. And uh, recently, the magistrate who was handling the, the case was transferred, and therefore the case would have to start afresh, which would again take a bit of time. So up until now, for uh, the last three years, we assume he was out of the country until he was actually found this week. Not for the last three years. Uh, I think you're not getting me right. This gentleman was deported in 2013. 2013, June. right. 2013, September, we arrested So he him. was not supposed to be in the country in 2016. That's the point. So you are not, how is he found? Excuse me. You, I don't know why you have a formed opinion. I'm saying that in 2013, June, he was deported. That I understand. 2013, September, we arrested him. Okay. He has been in this country since 2013, So he's September. been tracked for the last three years? Not tracked for the last three years. He was deported in 2013, June. Mm -hmm. 2013, September, only three months after deportation. We arrested him okay. in Nairobi, I, being in position of 425 So when sachets. he was found in Kayole, under what circumstances was the, he arrested? Just a minute. Uh, after, he was, uh, after he was arrested in 2013, September, he was released on bond. If you are released on bond, you have to stay around until the matter is completed. Right. So from 2013, September, up to now, his case has been going on. Okay. He was not roaming about. His case has been going on since 2013. And I've just told you that recently the magistrate who was handling the case mm -hmm. was uh, transferred. And therefore, maybe the case will be located to another magistrate. Now, the position is very clear. That our position was that from 2013, when he was, he was in court, right. we believed that at the end of the conclusion, at the conclusion of the matter in court, he would be jailed. And mm -hmm. if he would be jailed, then on completion of his period in court, then he would be deported back because already as we speak, mm -hmm. he's a prohibited immigrant. So would you then say the justice system is scuttling the operations of the police to actually prosecute we, we cannot, such individuals? We, we cannot say that. The constitution is very clear. Uh, rights to bond is something which uh, you cannot uh, oppose. And Even you know, if someone has been accused of a serious crime? It depends. If it depends with the court, if the court is of the opinion that the person can be issued with a bond, mm -hmm. then the court will do. And you must respect uh, the, the independence of various arms of government. Judiciary is independent. Mm -hmm. uh, the executive is equally independent. And we don't interfere. So what we are saying, our duty as police was to detect and to arrest in 2013. Okay. If the court is of the opinion that he be given bond, as they did, then that is the position. So he's not been roaming about. He has been attending a court process. So they're fully aware, police are fully aware yes, of his we are fully whereabouts, aware. what and he's that been is doing. Why, and that so why is, is he now being actually held by the ATPU? They say that there are terror-related activities. The fact that he committed a crime, and you know he's a drug baron, according to So he should be actually with saying. the anti-narcotics police then? Excuse me. It depends on the crime you have committed. The gentleman... The information we have and the reason why he was arrested the other day in Kayole is because of his operations on matters related to terrorism. Okay. You are aware that, our, that we have a lot of terror issues. And uh, once we have information that you are related to terrorism issues, the best institution, the best department in so police So what, what were some of those indicators? Was it that he was what, financing what, what terror activities? What I don't know is whether... Is whether mm -hmm. You are putting me to court to give evidence in a matter that is under investigation. So you, can't you are aware that right we have arrested very many people. I don't know whether you are an advocate of the accused, Not because at all. the way the way you are putting your questions, it seems you are defend you are asking the police why are you holding a drug baron who is suspected for terror. 
activities. No, on, on what, what counts now of the terror activities are you holding him? Was he we found to be fine? You can't tell us what he did, or hosting Ro terrorists, uh, or Robert starting Dini. a cell? <laughs> that, would be, that, would be, that would be very cheap of me to start discussing evidence and what we have. And that is why I'm saying you are behaving as if you are, you are, you are protecting the suspect or you are an advocate Not of at the all. suspect. Okay, let's, let's switch gears a bit now because yes. now we found him. He's a Nigerian national. Yes. Uh, is this now a new face in terms of uh, African nationals who are involved in terror activities here in Kenya? They're very different from the profile that we're used to, at least of those involved in terror activities. Well, one thing here. I want to tell Robadiri is uh, we need to be very broad in whatever we do. For example, I can see there's a lot of halabalu on uh, an, immigra an illegal immigrant finding himself in this country. Even the best countries in the world in terms of uh, security management, including uh, the big brother America, we have several cases of illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. So you cannot crucify your country for having an but individual an illegal, illegal immigrant, immigrant who's been deported twice. And for your information. For having held drugs and dealing drugs in Kenya, which is for, illegal. For, so he's not just any immigrant. For, for, for your information, that is why when he sneaked in, he was arrested within the same period he sneaked in. Okay. He sneaked in in, in in September. He was deported in, sep in June 2013. He sneaked in in September 2013. And we arrested him. Not even, not even three days. And that shows you how much our intelligence services are on top of issues. Fair enough. That is why, according to you, in your mind, you thought this man has been here since 2013 up to now without our action. This man came in 2013, September. We arrested him. We and, took and him as, to court. As we wind up, yes. you've shown that, yes, surveillance is on top of things. Yes. And he has actually now exposed a whole network of other African nationals who are involved. I, I don't in think, I don't think, um, I think, I think, I think that is misjudgment. And that is why I'm telling you the issue of illegal immigrants is a global issue. It's not an issue affecting Kenya as a country. It's proving to be a problem because in the story by Dennis Okari, it shows that these African nationals have been able to roam the country freely you know, and carry out business. You know, so what are even, you doing in terms you are, of dealing even, with that problem me, of African are, nationals operating here are, illegally? Your conclusion, when you are starting, you said this man is roaming. I've told you he's not roaming. He has been in court. Just a minute. He has been in court. He has been attending court. And there's very little we could if, do if as the If that was the case, because in, in the Daily Nation story that yes. ran today, it showed that plainclothes police were actually looking for him. If they knew about his whereabouts, why would they be looking for him? You know, that is story from individual? Nation. It's not story from the police A spokesman. A source. Excuse me. Bro. This is not story from police spokesman. This is because if this man has been attending court, then how are we looking for him when he's attending court? But if we have information on his actions and deeds, that would have you bombed here and you die, we have a responsibility to do that. Okay. Yes. All right, we have to leave it there. We're out of time. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Though it has not cleared up much in no, terms no, no. of No, no, no. I think you have a formed opinion. <laughs> you have a formed opinion. It, but it I think anybody listening to me and you will be able to tell that this particular person has not been roaming about. He came in September 2013. We arrested him the same month. We took him to court. He was released on bond. He has been here attending court, not roaming about. And the thing is, we want to actually see him prosecuted. That will be the end game and hope that he uh, actually is. You, you, we will not. You see, as, as a country, we have to make a decision on what is best for the country. Have him prosecuted or deport him. He's an illegal immigrant. And we can deportation make a, we can has decide. clearly not helped in Excuse this situation me. because he has been deported twice, not prosecuted. Yes. So the problem is you have not managed you to do what You cannot be deported without prosecution. You are, for, for you to be declared a prohibited immigrant, you must first of all be, be prosecuted and the court declares you a prohibited immigrant. So you cannot say he has not been prosecuted. Indeed. It's simply lack of knowledge. No, 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 no. <laughs> but the thing is, you said it has been drawn out, so he has not been prosecuted just Which yet. Which one? His case. It hasn't no, no, been no. brought you to see, a close yet. You, you see, Robadiri, once we have made an arrest and we have presented somebody before court and he has been given a bond, the case must be had. It's okay. not the police. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So we leave it yeah, on it's the, not the police. system's yeah. hands to actually deal yes. with the issue. Thank you it's so okay. much. The spokesperson uh, for the police, Charles Owino, clearing up this issue, at least attempting to on uh, the issue of Emmanuel Eboemen.